You know, social media is a really cool tool for being able to spread the word about your nonprofit and reach a lot of new people. Unfortunately, a lot of folks are very reactive about how they run their social media, and that's not always very engaging. I'm Sandy Reese, Chief Encouragement Officer here at Get Fully Funded, where we show small nonprofits how to raise the money they need to fully fund their operation. And today I want to give you some tips on how to better use your social media to get the kind of engagement that you're looking for. So the biggest mistake that a lot of nonprofits make is they are pushing information out. They're like shoving out the details and giving you this and giving you that. And for a lot of people, they don't want to be force-fed information about another organization. Social media is meant to be social. That means there needs to be two-way conversation, two-way communication. If not, it's just that push, push, push that's going on. So you have to think about it. You have to plan it out. You have to hit the pause button long enough to really think about what you're trying to accomplish on social media and how you're going to do that. That means that it can't just be give us money, give us money, give us money or like help us or adopt this animal or become a monthly donor or whatever. That's fine and those are called call to actions or CTAs and it's fine to have some CTA but if all you're doing is showing up saying gimme, gimme, gimme then you just have your hand out all the time and that gets really old. So what you need to do is balance that with some other stuff. So let me share three other kinds of content that you can be sharing that's going to make it a whole lot more fun for people who are following you and trying to engage in conversation. All right, the first is informational or educational. And this is where you're going to share things that people are going to go, huh, I didn't know that. So you have to really think about common myths around your mission or misconceptions that people have or what they may not know that they might find fascinating and that's what you want to share so this is not the time for you to just say i want my people to know this and i want them to know that because look you're just pushing information out again you have to hit the pause button long enough to think what does my audience want to know what are they interested in what would they go wow that's cool Make a list of those kind of topics and share that. Now that can be just a quick share on Facebook. It could be a link to an article on your blog or a link to an article on another blog. It could be a link to an educational video. It could be a just real quick uh, educational meme or an informational meme. There's all kinds of ways to do that. The point is to think about it and be purposeful about it. And be really careful not to overshare because if all you do is pour out stuff that's um, educational, I mean, think about it. Do you want to learn all day long? No. You have to balance that learning with some other things. Um, that leads me to the second kind of content that I want to share, and that is the feel-good stuff. So your informational educational is hitting people in their mind, and the feel-good taps them right in the heart. So here's where you want to share stories about those your organization is helping updates on a life that has been changed. All those videos and the photos and the things that are just going to make people melt. They make them go like, oh, this is great. You got to share that kind of stuff too. Now, if your organization can't show video because you have privacy issues, I get that. Get creative because there probably still are videos that you can create from photo montage or you could shoot a video from an empty facility to talk about the kind of work that happens in that facility. That was a recommendation I gave to a children's advocacy center not too long ago. Um, and get creative. You can find all kinds of things that you can share that are going to make people feel really, really good. All right, so you have call to action, you have informational, educational, you have the feel-good stuff, and the final kind of content you need to be sharing is the stuff that's just for fun, that makes people giggle, or it makes them want to share. And that's where you can, you can post contests, you can do polls, surveys, you can share jokes, you can ask people to share their favorite fill-in-the-blank. That actually works really well. I literally saw this one last night on Facebook where somebody said, <laughs> this was on a page, replace the word, a word in your favorite movie title with the word cat. So it was like, um, gone with the cat, Snow White and the Seven Cats. Indiana Jones and the Last Cat. It was kind of funny. That's the kind of crazy stuff that if that is on brand for you, you need to be doing because people love that and they will engage with you. You're going to see a lot of comments. You're going to see shares. You'll see a lot of people popping in. So the biggest takeaway here for you is there's a lot of things you need to be sharing other than give us money, volunteer, help us out, make a monthly gift. And you got to think about it and be purposeful. 
You can get more tips just like this on our blog at getfullyfunded.com slash blog or on our YouTube channel at getfullyfundedtv.com. While you're there on YouTube, be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you find out every time we upload more fundraising tips just like this. See you next time. Bye, everybody.